Welcome back. It's satisfactory. I'm so glad you're here. Hey, you've already looked at the... Thumbnail. You clicked on the video. You know what we're doing. I don't have to tell you. But we are going to go from ore to automated wiring in this one blueprint. One, it's kind of fun. Two, it makes it easier to expand. Because then all we need to do is provide it with coal and iron ore. And then we can do some click, click, click. And then we've got more capacity. But for right now, we're just gonna get started. I've made some tweaks in order to get the number of buildings down, which when you're looking at a build like this, efficiency of number of buildings is huge. I don't know if I wanna put this exactly here. So we're working this one together. I haven't built this one all the way out. allowed me to talk through my decisions a little bit more in depth. So as per usual, we need to have our entry point, and then we need to send resources up to the next level of this blueprint to make it stackable. So on here, we're going to build a little splitter like this. Give ourselves a little bit of room. Oh, that's perfect. Nice 90 degree angle belt there. Uh, let me turn on my light so you can see a little better. And then we're gonna lift up this ore and ship it right back out to the next level so they can do the same thing that we're doing here. All right, and then this this single smelter only needs to provide us with 24 iron ore. Or iron ingots, excuse me. That's done. Now we can go on to our foundry. And we're gonna try to sneak you in. If I could line this up, that'd be great. It's not always possible. Yeah, this is one of those ones where it's a little bit off. So it's either there or there. I think I'll step back just a little bit if there's room. There might not be room. Well, we know one thing for sure. This needs to be our coal line. And we can pull the ore off of this line. Keep forgetting foundries take two inputs. So let's get you lined up with enough distance to work both of these. I think Somewhere in this area is about right. And then pull it back to, click it. Ooh, that didn't look good at all. I wanna go right into there. And what is happening? One, two, there we go. That's a 45 degree angle. And then we're gonna pull a splitter right above here. Ooh, it's right on the edge. Right on the edge. I heard the click. 
therefore it's connected. Nothing else matters. All right. So we have our foundry in place. Now, we know that this needs to be our iron ore. So we're going to label one of these. We're just going to label one. Just so there's no doubt when it comes time to hook this up. That this is the iron ore. Okay, so iron ore goes in here, gets smelted, gets split, gets sent to the foundry, then goes up to the next level. Now the foundry we barely need the foundry, but we need it, so we're gonna put it in. We need it at four point oh five. 4.05 units per minute. That's all we need. So that's all we're going to ask for. All right. Because there's no, no reason to load up on individual items that we don't actually, that we're not going to actually process right away. Now, we need a little bit of space to produce our... Oh, this is a good point. We're not done here yet. We need to get a splitter in place here. Let's make sure that we're on the belt. There we go. So the coal comes in, gets split, sent up to the next level, and then a good chunk comes in here for processing. Glad we remember that. So all the ores have been made into ingots. Now we need to do some constructing. First simple thing that we could do is just put together our steel pipe. We could just kind of drop that a little bit out of the way. Let's see if we can put it there and still have room. Yeah, we need to move it over one more square. We're outside the blueprint. So let's go one more this way. Now we're rocking and rolling. And what we'll do is we'll say one, two. See if we can clear this without any clipping. Then the output of this. One, two, we'll turn it. Oh, wait, that's not the one I want to connect to. We need to connect to the input over here. And I still need to use this level up one, two, just because it'll be hard to snake a belt around here. But if we go up a level, we can do something like that. So the output of this foundry sends steel into this, where we make our steel pipe. where we need two point says seven or for some reason I want to say 2.8 per minute I'm gonna add a tenth I'm gonna add one tenth to all of these just so we don't over slow too much okay And let's go over here and add 
Well, this one's pretty straightforward. It wants 24 per minute, so that's easy. And this one... Actually, we need 2.7 pipes per minute. Let's make 2.8 pipes per minute. And then on the ingots, we need... Okay, so that's right. All right, so we have our steel pipes ready to go. We're probably at the point where we need to start thinking about the next level. So we're going to leave this. And then we're going to go to our... iron wire so we picked an alternate recipe we went the, with the iron wire and the reason why is pretty straightforward uh, wire typically takes copper but if we use the iron wire we can use uh, iron ingots and by doing that we eliminate the need for a copper smelter So we're going to see if we can squeeze in required buildings here. Oh yeah, we don't want that right on the edge anyway. So let's build the splitter first. I kind of want to go right there. Where are we here? So one, two, something like that. Iron ingots come out of here. Then we put on three constructors. One, two, A three. All right. And then let's see if we can get this in here. And then we can just belt this last one direct. I guess we could make it nice. This is getting kind of cozy, but it's it's all connected and it's minimally clipped. All right. Now, interesting part about this is we need 43.2 wire. Well, technically, as I have it currently scheduled, I only need two of these. Let's look at this. It's alternate wire. We need 43 and change. And two of these would give us 44 and change. Okay, let's do that. Let's save ourselves the space and the headache and the materials. We'll just build these two. Now, technically, I could connect. Well, no, because this one, it can only give us... Wait, oh. Our cable machine, we need a cable machine that's going to make 18 cable, which means it needs 36 inputs, which is more than what this one can do by itself. Hmm. I could consider running it down here and putting the cable making down here, but then it will have issues. Half of it will get sent to... Yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Okay, so this cable... I almost said cable guy. Is going to make... 18 units per minute. Okay. 
now we're going to see if we can squeeze in our splitters. Might not be able to. Can we squeeze in a lift? Can do lifts. All right, so we're going to have to think just for a moment here. We can't split down the line without rebuilding this. If we tried to move it, I mean, we could probably fit it if we move this over one. But I think that's a little too much. We'll, we'll do something with the lift here. I think if we lift this like this, let's say one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Actually, you know what? Can I turn that? Let me turn these. One, two, three. Turn, turn. Yeah. One. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's see where we are on that. Okay, yeah, that looks great. Then we'll... Oh, sadness. Gonna have to turn these in. Let's test that before I try it again. I could turn them to the side maybe, but one, two... One, two, three. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to turn them in. That's okay. That is a minor aesthetic. One, two, three. Better for it to work. One, two, three. Okay, so now we'll put a merger on these. Send you down the line. Put a merger on you. Sending you down the line. Then we'll put a splitter on you. We're receiving from the line. Okay, and then this goes here, and this goes here. So all these great wires, which we need to specify these details. Let's get that done. 22 and a half. Yeah, there's a, a slight, there's like a one wire overage there, which we're fine. We can leave that. All right, then this guy is gonna take that wire and make cable. the rate of 18 per minute. I already got that in there. Okay. So now I think we're definitely ready to go next level. But I need to make an adjustment. I've already realized. Congrats to you if you saw it. I want to get on top of one of these machines if you don't mind. So in here, I think this needs to change to a splitter. Uh-oh. This one's gonna have to change to a splitter. We'll split the original. It only needs 7.2. Then this one can be, well, now it has to be a merger.
So now we can send the bulk of this down here while still sending some of this up to the next level. Then we can send the cable up to the next level and then we can send the steel pipe up to the next level. Okay. Now let's get, and I don't know, for whatever reason, steel is speaking to me for this building. And we're gonna put in some of those class foundation beauties. use some of this height that we've got here. Give me the zoop. I don't know why it changes directions like that, but there we go. Okay. So we're totally done with the foundries and the smelters. Now we just have to deal with these guys. We are going to set ourselves up to lift this material. So all that we have left now, we've made what we're presuming coal mining and iron ore mining, right? That's what's delivered in. So then we have, we've dealt with the iron smelting, the steel foundry. We've made the iron wire and we've made the cable. We've made the steel pipe. So all we have left now is to make the stators and to make the automated wiring. So we need two machines at this upper level. So knowing that we have pretty much kind of a free reign going. It's really hard to see where this connection is gonna be. It's having trouble. Oh wait, I think that's it. That click right there tells me it's working. Can I, if I put wire in here, will it go through? No, cause it doesn't have power. And it'd be really cool to be able to test that, that kind of stuff. I have to presume that it's working though. Huh. I guess this orange bar isn't actually part of the blueprint. That's good to know. A little disappointing, but good to know nonetheless. Let's delete all these. That was something I was trying out in the previous, as part of the previous video, kind of an after action. I think these buildings are gonna need a little decoration. Okay, so there we go. Let's get all these lower items connected and then we'll deal with the 
the merge and turn of this last piece. If we can go this way, I would prefer it. Those are connected now. Let's run up here. Pipe. Cable. Wire. Steel pipe and wire go together. Then cable and stator go together. This is gonna be a little it's gonna be a little wacky. I think if we could squeeze the two and similars kind of far over here. just use lifts to get everything where it needs to be. Except for me, I need to crouch jump instead of just walking off of the edge. At least sprint jump, right? Alright, so we need to make staters. Staters require the pipe from here and the wire from here. I think we'll just connect this directly on the ground. Straightforward, easy mode, like that. Then we'll go up, say, one, two. You know what? First of all, let's answer this question. How high is this compared to this? So. I don't know if I made myself clear there. The problem is, is whenever you're doing these types of things, you kind of want the belts to not have angles. But in order to do that, you have to know how high things are. And this has some sort of difference because it's starting from the ground. So I'm going to guess three, one, two, three. But it's probably four programmers right they're gonna use four before they use three yep all right good to know so this is zero and that's four or negative four um so now we need to get, let's just make this simple on our brain for a minute here and put in the recipe that we need. We need to make 0.9 per minute. So we'll just ask for one. And then I think so that's four, five, six, seven. I kind of want to say eight for some reason. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight.
pipe come out of there, goes up, over, in, bing, bam, boom. Then we've got stators here. And we gotta get over to here, but let's first, let's deal with this one. I think it's obvious we should shoot for simple connection in here. We set this up to be like that. We might be able to 90 that right in. Okay, and then we just need to get the output of this machine into the input of this machine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That seems way higher on this side. No, nope, looks like it's all about perspective though. So that looks about right. So then this makes the automated wiring using the cable and the stators. We're gonna ask for 0.9 That's it, we're basically done. Put in a roof here so we can connect power and have a place for the next level to exist on. So sometimes, you know, you see a, a lot of conversations about this alternate recipe is good or bad. Well, you have plenty of ore, therefore you don't need this alternate recipe. But in this case, you know, we're switching copper for iron ore, which is typically considered good. But the amount of building reduction that we've executed by doing that is huge. Totally worth it. Let's see if we can get some ceiling lights going. I think this one should be red. Oh, wait, we're not done yet. Let's get this stuff out of here before we start doing decorations. I always, this is the one I have the most trouble figuring out every single time. We want the next level up to be able to provide automated wiring down. So it's all commingled and shipped out on a single line.
So the next level up connects here. This needs to merge here, and then it needs to go out here. Okay. Um, we can go out that way. That's easy. About to sneeze. One moment. Excuse me. Okay. We need to get... So this is the output. The level above us is also going to come in here. That's the answer. We'll go up, actually. Am I in the way? We'll merge it over here, I think. Sorry, this one's taking some actual thought. We're going to have to clip something. got to get this output to here, which is easy. We can merge this. Oh boy. Invalid shape. That's what I get for saying it's easy. to say this but we might we might have to go this way with it no I didn't want to go up a level over here
Shoo, I think that's it. Minimally clipped, a little bit of clipping on that machine, but that gets it done. So everything gets merged down to this line and sent to the line, the level below. So if this is stacked on top, it'll produce its 0.9 automated wire per minute. Let's go out here so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is the input for ore, and we have a little clipping there. Where'd that come from? This is the input for ore, and then we've got the input for coal, which we know. Oh yeah, because I got to send the coal up to the next level. And then the automated wiring comes out here like that. Well, up here, when the automated wiring comes out, We'll connect this to this, and then it'll go into this level, merge up, and then come out here. That's what all the last 10 minutes was about, but we got it, so we're good. Okay, so there are a couple of little clips, but other than that, we achieved what we set out to achieve, which is one blueprint that goes from ore to automated wiring. And now we can just put in some fun stuff. I think this one should be red and it should be bright red. So I'm gonna overlight this. So that's going to be super bright red. And then maybe down here we'll do like an orange. One light with an orange on it. And we'll see if that plays. No floods this time. do need to just put in power for everything. So let's also deal with that high-end double wall outlet. A little tougher on here because we don't have room. Probably better to build it on this side. Come on. One on this side and then one on this side so we can have separate lighting opportunities. We'll go high on this one. We just need to connect this at each level. Okay. Well, let's hop back in here and connect these machines. 
someone pointed out that I could use the Mark II power towers, and they were right. It defaults to Mark I when you're using the power on your toolbar. But there is any reason why you have to limit yourself because of that. If we could ever find the power plug here. Ooh, it's nestled pretty tightly in there. Of course, let's put a Mark II wall outlet. Should be all we need. And we'll just do this the easy way. We'll just click it and then run around and find it. Okay. Mark II is just so much more convenient. I think that's connected everything. We had two smelters, a smelter and a foundry, three machines. I think we actually had four machines down here, didn't we? Yep, there's the fourth one. Okay, and then let's connect the light side of this to here. And you know what? I think I am going to give this side a little floodlight. Just to give us a little bit of... I don't know. A little spice? A little spice on the lighting? right through that belt. I will allow some clipping, but moving clipping is probably the worst. All right, I think we're done there. Let's climb back up. Hit the second level. Here we'll start with the lighting. Like that. And this area is a lot more, it's kind of open. It's a little more airy. So this should be easy. One, two, how many levels do we have on here? Seven. We could go pure stripes. Sorry, I've changed topics on you. Let's put the outer walls on. The lighting and the machines are all connected. Once I get this first floor down, we'll, we'll head to the high ground.
And then let's just put some fun windows in, shall we? This one. Oh, we need silica. We didn't bring silica with us. Hmm. There's silica over here, I think. Well, I was going to say, let's hope a couple hundred do is enough, but why do that when we can just grab 600? 600 should definitely be enough. Right? Panel windows. All right, we need a toolbar for this. Panel window is one and steel wall is three. Oh. We need to make that a steel based panel window, if that's an option. There we go. One, then a wall, then a window, then a wall, then a window, then a wall. Then when we get in there, we'll probably put in something like a metal pillar or something like that. We can't put it in now because we're in the blueprint, but it's not that big of a deal to whip in by the way of a zoop, a couple metal pillars. Just to separate this from that. But then when we go around the building, it's very easy to whip these in. It's pretty straightforward. Somehow I always end up with duplicated tops. I think I want to... I think this time I'm going to figure this out. We need to have... Mm, glass on... based on what we've done so far. Can't even see up there. We're obviously in super decorative mode at this point. But if we put a glass level here, 
it'll be a little bit more difficult to see. It won't be like every other, every other, every other, two in a row, every other, every other. Now it'll just be every other all the way down. trying to decide if I need to put some more lighting in here. Nah, I think it's okay. So there you go. When we go to build that, it'll be every other one all the way up to the very top. Though, we probably should put some foundations in. No! That way we're not floating when the next level comes in. You know, it's really sad. If this were a bright red glowing level, it would look really cool. We're probably obligated to some extent to put some lights in here. Do I want a third one? Let's put in controls for a third one. Okay, so that's three light control boxes. One for the first level, one for the second level, one for the virtual service level, which actually doesn't do anything. But that way we'll have the maximum amount of options. But as far as this video goes, we are done. We'll build this, we'll click it up as many times as we like. And then we will uh, put in some light control boxes, send in some power, connect, connect, connect going up. Hmm. That is gonna be a little clippy, but I do like the idea of lighting at least half of this. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna continue the motif into this service layer. Did do that on the last one, but I think it makes sense for this one. Okay, we're done. Send in some coal, send in some iron ore, and get back automated wiring. It's a great blueprint. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.